What's up guys, this is Yasa. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasa's Fit Fact. Today I'm going to talk about six fragrances that you should think twice before buying. And I'm going only based on my personal taste guys. If you're somebody who loves these fragrances, no objection at all. That's totally your personal taste. But according to my taste, I think you can skip these fragrances because I don't really appreciate them. I think you need not buy them unless your taste is different than mine. You have already tested them and you feel it is definitely good. You can please go ahead. But if your taste is exactly like mine and if you are usually blind buying it, I would still suggest that you can skip this. At number one is Khair Pistachio. This is one of the best inspirations of Kayali's some fragrance with the similar name Pistachio. I've tried the original as well. I honestly didn't like the original because pistachio is an accord which you cannot extract in the natural way. So you have to create accords of that and synthetic version. The original itself is not something that I was very fond of, but that was way smoother. This is something that I cannot handle at all. Okay. This is sweet. That artificial pista feel. Pista syrup feel which we used to have in India as a cool drink and I'm not enjoying it when I wear it so definitely not recommended from my side all right but in the air it is appealing to some noses not for me at least the other one is Dolce Gabbana light blue summer wipes it's not bad but my only point is when you have light blue intense you have light blue forever you have light blue italian love those are much better much better than this the only reason why i got this one is for the bottle i wanted this bottle the bottle design is just beautiful guys i've never seen a perfume bottle like this it has that ceramic sort of a bottle finish with all those designs it's just beautiful the smell is good i'm not denying or saying that the smell is bad or it's not appearing nothing like that but you have better options from the light blue series and that's your least reason why i'm saying that do not get carried away by the bottle design it's definitely good but smell wise you have better options which is light blue forever light blue intense or the italian love one fragrance from ahmed al Mahribi, which i was not very fond of only because of my personal taste and that is Rada. this is a heavy projecting herbal and sandalwood blend okay if you like herbal green accords that soapy hammam sort of margo hammam that soapy margo there was a soap called margo which was extracted with leaf smell that's what they marketed marketed that one as very old soap i don't think they continued it for long it reminded me of that soap with a very strong sandalwood note okay rada whether you get the other or the perfume doesn't really matter but as per my taste i wouldn't really recommend this one because i don't really enjoy wearing it fourth one is albet al dimashki noir ambre okay this is an inspired version of isimiyaki noir ambre noir something like that okay which is not really supplied in india but in the middle east i heard it is very very popular i never smelled the original i do not know how that is but this one was not so appealing okay it's an amber fragrance i've done the full review of it it has that artificial caramel sort of sweetness which i'm not very fond of it's i don't know how the original but based on people's praises i think the original would be smelling much better or maybe it is almost similar and i just don't like it not very fond of this one Noir Ambre. So you can skip that if you have taste like mine. Number five is Kadla Chiaka. They say it's an inspired version of Reflection Man from Amwaj. I do relate that. But there are notes here which smells very synthetic. That artificial sort of sweetness. I'm sure the original smells of much quality, much better quality. And I've smelled the original. It is definitely much better quality. But... I think for the price what this one sells for I shouldn't be complaining because the original is around 13, 14,000. This is just around under 2,000. So not really a complaint but I honestly didn't like this one. There was a Reflection Man clone from the Killer Ruth Paris Corner series as well. This is better than that to be honest. It performs really good. 
it is more closer to that i think around 85 percent when you even smell it up here but it has that lot of synthetic vibe which i personally didn't like so i would say skip it number six is blue by ahmed this is definitely the strongest clone of blue de chanel and it is usually compared with blue de chanel parfum version because it's very strong it's sweet but personally i don't really enjoy that sweet blue accord okay it's very strong performs definitely better than any blue de chanel clones out there but i personally don't enjoy this one i would rather suggest the zeleny which is very appealing complimenting getter as well that is also sweet but this sweet blue fragrance is something that i personally don't like okay but otherwise it's definitely a good blend it can give you compliments definitely a great choice for the summer is just about my personal taste guys so that's about it i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in case you have tried this comment down in the comment section see you next time soon keep sharing the videos cheers